With the Bentley bent gone now in play and the Rolls-Royce Cullinan on the way, Land Rover had to step up its game in the British luxury sport Ute arena. We saw the next evolution of the iconic Range Rover when its ground-level 2018 models launched with the P400E hybrid option, and now we're getting our first look at the penthouse view. The 2018 Range Rover SV autobiography just broke cover in Los Angeles. Each SV autobiography is hand-finished by the folks at Jaguar Land Rover Special Vehicle Operations SVO. The SV autobiography is available only in extended wheelbase form so as to assure maximum comfort for its occupants. The second row is the most important part of this vehicle, made obvious by the executive class rear seats that basically look like the thrones that might be seen in a salon. As the airplane style naming suggests, these things are massively luxurious. Outfitted with quilted leather over special foam padding, the seats can recline up to 40 degrees and offer a claimed 3.9 feet of legroom. They have 22-way adjustment, a hot stone massage option, and even heated calf and foot rests. Johnny Drama would be pleased. Of course, the seats are only part of the luxury immersion. Once settled into the rear, a push of a button will close the rear doors. Another button, found on the center console between the seats that acts as a control center, will deploy a tabletop. Under the center armrest is a refrigerated cubby that the Brits say can store four 20-ounce bottles, two 25-ounce bottles and two glasses, or maybe a couple of Lunchables and snack packs. Land Rover provides the entertainment, as well. Each seat gets its own 10.0-inch touchscreen, and in-car 4G LTE Wi-Fi makes it easy to get on the net. Subtle design changes signify that this is no ordinary Range Rover. The front grille has been altered with chrome inserts, a tweaked rear bumper integrates metal exhaust finishers, and 22-inch wheels are specific to the SV autobiography, as are the bright Atlas accents all over the exterior. The rear-powered cargo floor has been adorned with veneers, Range Rover added a zenith clock to the rear console because fancy people are obsessed with fancy ways of telling time, aluminum door sills illuminate to read SV autobiography, and poltrona frau leather is a new option. Passengers needn't bother themselves with what's happening up front, but chauffeurs won't be upset about piloting the SV autobiography. Under the hood. Land Rover put the company's supercharged 5.0-liter V8 gasoline power plant that is rated at 557 horsepower and paired with a ZF-sourced 8-speed automatic transmission. Land Rover claims it can sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.2 seconds. Serenity on the inside, speed on the outside. Those seeking maximum performance chops might be steered to the SV autobiography dynamic that is built on the standard wheelbase chassis and therefore deprived of the more sybaritic elements of the new model. Such levels of comfort and performance do not come cheap. Land Rover lists the Range Rover SV autobiography at $208,895. That might bust your holiday budget, but it won't be available until the first quarter of 2018. So there's time to save up.